in this video i want to go into the concepts of thresholding so we can see this this is a gradient grayscale image which goes into the very dark black going into white on the right side so there is this gradient profile and we can see how thresholding can work so thresholding is nothing but identifying or identifying or making marks where you're interested in so say for example this image is here and you are only interested in this portion which is the darker region then you can specify that all the pixel values in this region which are of this density should be good and the value of this density or the value of pixels over here these are lighter and i'm not interested in them so you can create or differentiate or create markers between the shades of colors that you are interested in so that's where thresholding comes into picture and it is very much important into when you're trying to read any kind of ocr detection optical character recognition when you try to read any text documents so it comes into very handy and we'll see how it works out so we will try to read that image grayscale image that we were trying to read and we will say let's uh, put the uh, thresholding from 50 to 255 so what i'm doing is first we are of course importing the OpenCV library we are reading the image and we are reading it into a grayscale value because thresholding cannot work in colored images it has to work in grayscale images so hence we are reading it as zero and zero is nothing but a flag stating that I am read whenever it's reading a file whenever it's reading an image it should be automatically read as a grayscale image so we don't need to read it into a color and then convert it like we did in the other videos but in this particular one we are just directly reading it as a grayscale image and then storing into this variable called img the next step is the thresholding aspect so we are going to be using OpenCV's thresholding function and we are going to supply the image the grayscale image from the previous step and then specifying that all the pixels in that grayscale image whatever lies between 50 to 255 should be taken and everything else should be discarded and uh, it OpenCV also requires what kind of thresholding you're going to be using and this is a simple binary thresholding so what is binary thresholding is anything that lies between this value would be zero or one value or anything which is not in that uh, which does not lie in these values will be another value so it's just a zero or one that's called that's why it's called threshold binary and you're going to be using that and once the image once the thresholding is done it saves that image or it gives the output as an image which is going to be stored in the threshold or thresh variable the return flag this is just specifying whether the uh, it, it gives out a flag whether which gives a boolean variable whether it's done or not so you can see whether if you run into any issues you can always use this flag but in our case it's simple a read and conversion of threshold should, shouldn't be a big problem so we're not going to be using this but we are interested in the output of this function which is the thresholded image and we are going to display it so uh, you're using i am show and we're also using the rebate key function and the thresholding so window and we'll see how this looks like so remember again this is how the gradient image will look like and we are now trying to differentiate between the pixels that are in the range of 50 to 255 given by this so anything that lies between 50 to 55 should be of one color and the other should be of rest so let's see how this works and we will run it as python thresholding dot pi so let's give it a second and it should the window should pop up any moment now so you can see that the thresholding has been done and for 50 to 255 you can see that this region was left as black and the rest of the other region was white so let's see how what we can do if we were to increase this value a little bit so if we instead of 50 if we were to say if uh, let's do 150 and see how that affects the image now so let's go back and rerun the same code and you can see that the thresholding now has increased because now we are taking more pixels in that black shaded region 
and the rest is white and the, the previous before that is going to be all black so that's what thresholding does for us so anything that we specify in the pixel value would be converted into one color and the other would be the next color so this is very helpful in creating masks which we'll see in the later videos and uh, it can help us in identifying or you know uh, obtaining those particular regions of interest that you're interested in so let's go back to the code i have another image here so you can see this particular image and you can see that it's colored image and we'll try to see if we can specify or just to extract this information and uh, do not consider the background which is you you can see all these background marks and the noise uh, present in the image and we're not interested in that we're just interested in this text uh, maybe the pen could work out but it just just to emphasize this region here so let's see how that works we'll uncomment this portion uh, again we're just reading the image as, as a grayscale image and we're specifying the threshold value like before and uh, the, we're just going to be displaying it using the im show function of course weight key is something that you need in order for the im show function to work uh, in our in this particular image case we're going to be keeping the threshold value from 200 to 255 and let's see how this works and we will comment this region we're not interested in looking into that again but let's open this and see how this thing works so you can see how the color has already been changed of course it be that was because of grayscale image and you can see thank you doctors has come up which is very emphasized of course you can see these noises present the rest of the background is gone but this noise is present and we can see how we can take care of that so let's go back into the code and uh, instead of 200 what if we put 150 so it's going to be trial and error and see how that works you can see some of the noise has gone but some of the text has also gone so now you know that it's in between that region so hopefully if we put down 150 we can instead of that we can take care of 175 and see how much the effect that would have on the image so now you can see most of the noise is removed a little bit is left here but the text is visible and now if you by creating a region of interest you can extract this information more accurately so this is how the thresholding works and this is this is very helpful in creating those regions of interest in which you want to further and uh, enhance or filter or do some manipulation on the image you you are you you're doing some optical character recognition like text detection or even uh, object recognition you would want to uh, um, identify only those regions that you want you want the algorithm to work on and discard everything else so this is a very good feature to use